Massalia was founded by Greek settlers from Phocaea around 300 years ago and has since become one of the major trading ports of the known world, with a population of over 40,000 inhabitants. Among other things, it is known for exporting fine wine, salted pork, and fish, aromatic and medicinal plants, coral, and cork. The city has a large temple of the cult of Apollo of Belfoy on a hilltop overlooking the port, and a temple of the cult of Artemis of Ephesus at the other end of the city. Massalia remains the leader of the Greek cities of the west and the main center of civilization in Gaul, but this status is increasingly under threat from the growing powers of Carthage and Rome to the south. Time to make history. Hello everyone and welcome back to Imperial to Rome. You've seen a thumbnail and title, so I'm not going to bother you with an intro. I've probably already told you what I'm doing in the intro of this video. So yeah, we're playing as Massalia. I just hope oh, there's a mission. Yes, okay, there is. I was just uh, I was scared that there wasn't a mission tree. If there wasn't, then you wouldn't be seeing this video. Um, I really was thinking on playing a very different kind of campaign. I really wanted a more maritime focus, more naval focused, more focus on not only building tall, which is going to be very important because I'm going to be, I'm not going to have a lot of land. I want to stick to the coast. I want to capture strategic resources and whatnot to make sure I work on those to make as much money as possible. Hopefully build a strong, formidable navy to stand up against Carthage, even though they have a lot of ships. Thing is right, I think I need to build heavy ships um, to really combat their numbers. Rome as well is going to be an issue. Not really navally, but definitely militarily, but um... That is if they don't fail to actually grow. Oh yeah, all my map modes have just completely been reset. Uh, I should probably explain that. So, remember that Knights of Honor 2 video that you may or may not have watched? I hope you did watch it, by the way. The France one. In that video, in the beginning, I told you that it was supposed to be an Imperator video. And I told you I couldn't play it because Imperator wasn't working. There was a conflict between INR Invictus and regular Invictus on the new update that was completely stopping me from actually going into the game. Like, I could actually load the game to the menu, but I could not start a new game. It always crashed. And I did everything. I uninstalled and reinstalled both mods multiple times. I even uninstalled and reinstalled the entire game, and it still crashed. I went to the Invictus Discord channel in hopes of getting answers to, to get help. So, I talked around and uh, eventually I got into contact with the actual developer of the INR mod. He said there's nothing wrong with it. He could load the, the mod perfectly fine. Others also pitched in and said the game was working fine for them. So then I was, I was really confused. And then a saint appeared with the greatest screenshot ever, Zorgoball. They told me they were actually a viewer of the channel and a developer of some sort? I'm, I'm not sure, I'm sorry, I forgot. But he works on a mod that I use, and he says that anytime he sees a bug in my in campaigns that he immediately tries to go and fix them the next day, uh, which is really cool. But then he sent a screenshot of another member of the server, and I'm gonna be honest when I tell you this, it was straight up witchcraft. It was a five-step tutorial, right? And it was, it had me do some things that I never even fathomed of doing. I was half expecting that there was a secret sixth step where I had to find the Book of Cthulhu. But anyways, it actually did work and I can play now. Um, but what happened was I had to delete every single file out of the Imperator folder and then I had to restart the game. So it reset everything all of my settings all of this everything i've done but don't worry i, I bet i get they give you scare there um the saves i i save them in another file all right and i could bring them back in so yeah it, the median campaign is is perfectly fine even though that was a lot of yapping i i feel like i had to mention that i had to talk about that because it was an experience so let me just set this up again that's all fixed. I mean, it's a little bit different from before. I just wanted to try out putting some new things there, more practical. But yeah, anyways, where are we going to start? Trade routes? Let's look at that. Um, food is going to be very important. We have fish here. That's good. We need to immediately work on that so we can get even more food and more growth. So we have, of course, the city of Massalia. We have 
Taroentian. I don't know if I pronounce that word correctly. Antipolis, and we have Agatha. Agatha? Agatha. Stone, stone, wood, fish. That's what we got. Not the best resources. 40 spearmen, 30% heavy infantry, light cavalry, heavy cavalry. So we have pretty heavy units, but we won't have a lot of units. We will not have a large levy. Like, it will not be big. We need to focus and rely almost exclusively on mercenaries. Uh, no, no, I shouldn't say almost exclusively. 100% exclusively mercenaries. We're a plutocratic republic, and that will stay that way. So what do we want? Building is going to be very important, and the national commerce, of course. So let's just go with both of those. That's a no-brainer. Civilization. I'm not gonna... I don't, I don't think I have any yet. I don't have any vassals. I don't think I'll have any vassals. Uh, at least not yet. I don't need popularity because I'm not a monarchy. State religion is going to be the best. Now we have an extra import route and more commerce. Wow, 64%. Oh, we need to start trading. All right, so what do we want in our capital? Well, we already have the fish, so we want more fish, right? So we'll get... Not going to trade with Carthage. Just not going to happen. That's a surplus there. Then we can get stone, I guess, for the building. Yeah, sure. Uh, that can come from Maturia, sure. Before we do anything else, I think I want to look at our missions. Defend Hellenic interest in the Western Mediterranean while slowly building a glorious trade empire, giving us the means and authority to establish the Phocaean League. Oh, that's cool. All right. Despite the best efforts of our predecessors to stem the tide, Hellenic fortunes in the Western Mediterranean have waned, with more and more colonies falling to local tribes in our fierce Punic competition. There have been many times when we have seen our interests fr frustrated by Carthage, in particular, who openly challenges in the Mare Sardo Sardoum. We have no friends residing in Kartadasht, and it does not take a profit to foresee more conflict brewing between our nations. In this climate of gloom, an ambitious official named Androgorus Amantides has taken the four as an advocate for a bold new age of Massiliot expansion that will safeguard our city and reverse our luck with the Krateros Bukhelid in turn, promising to lead Massalia to unimagined heights with these blessings from the gods. Interesting. Load aggressive expansion and monthly popularity gain for 20 years. Okay. Right. So... What are we looking at? Arlati and Narbo. So this and that, okay. What do these have? That's food and that is more stone. So I get a claim on these three provinces here. That's actually a nice little place to build a heartland at least. The Mediterranean patrols and maybe with at least 30 Liburnians is led by an admiral from um, the Imagined family. That's insane. Greater you go to one marketplace buildings, we must send a gift to the city of Alalia. Uh, how do you do that? <laughs> That's going for Mago, we gotta establish a city, then we have to get one of the investments. Conquer a historically Greek port in the western Mediterranean held by non-Greeks. Possible targets are highlighted on the map. Right. Sure. Doesn't seem like I need any specific inventions. So I'm free to get whatever I want. I don't think a mission tree with a nation like this, should force you to go for a certain invention, considering the amount of inventions that you're going to need in order to play this optimally. <laughs> for instance, I, there's no point in going anything military other than navy, I'd say. Navy and mercenaries, that's really the two main things you need to focus on. So we want to go for the things that lower mercenary maintenance, and I think that's somewhere over here. I've literally never used them. Something interesting to go for as well would be major syncreticism. I'd hope a lot with culture happiness, because culture group happiness, because we're going to be going into a lot of different culture groups. There's going to be a lot of places we're going to go. I feel like it, it makes sense to try to go for major syncreticism. Maybe. Because I don't really care to assimilate. Actually, assimilation shouldn't be that bad, honestly, because we're going to be taking places that don't have that much population anyways. We'll be mostly taking settlements. If we're taking cities, it's going to be hard, but if we're mostly taking settlements, 
and building cities on those, our own cities, then it shouldn't be that hard. I don't know. I gotta really think of a strategy when I get down there. But I think over here somewhere, we have mercenary, mercenary armies, uh, anything about mercenary cost? Ah, here it is, here it is, here it is. Yes, yes, yes. Mercenary Reliance. 95% army maintenance. National manpower, honestly, don't matter. It just doesn't matter. We're not using much of our own men anyways. Maximum mercenary armies is going to be huge. Completely forgot about the search mechanic here. Whoa, recruit mercenary cost. Native 25%. Mercenaries cannot be bribed or bought off by other heroes. That doesn't really matter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 one way, 10 the other way. Allows formation of league city subjects from your city territories. These specialize in trade and produce extra trade goods. For the campaign, that actually makes a lot of sense. Actually, that makes so much sense, though. I can make league cities everywhere. I could put them in, like, places that I don't really want to rule over. Give them good resources that they can export. Hopefully they can export to everyone and not just me, because that would defeat the purpose completely. One way is far better for the manpower side of things if you're gonna if you're worried about your manpower more worried about going to war a lot but i want to fully focus on mercenaries i don't really care about my manpower my manpower won't be important if i'm just focusing on mercenaries in the first place so i think it actually does make more sense to go this way because i don't get the league cities which helps with just more income in general Position of minorities is huge, actually, for the found city cost modifier, because I'm going to be building a lot of cities. I think it's far better what to do here, right, is try to rush for this as soon as possible. Then after that, I go for this. All right, you know what? I'm just going to commit. We're doing it. All right. One, two, and three. That's all I need. The initial innovation should be easy to get once I get my research efficiency up as well. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. It's not a passive, unfortunately, but I should, like, activate that when I go to war. Because it's not the cost that's really going to kill me, it's the maintenance, because I do not have a lot of income. Soon, I will have a lot of income, but right now, I do not have a lot. It's actually a very good passive as well, so we'll do that. All right, first things first, we need to... Do we already have claims on them, or what? We do not, so we need to get the claims there and then narbo as well that's all my pi gone we're already in a defensive league with emporion and uh hemeroscopion our massalian brothers i i feel like we should get an ally <laughs> maybe i'm i'm very scared i i watch this is gonna be the campaign where rome actually does something <laughs> You watch. You know what? Let's just play the game. I think we're ready to play. Let's just go. Now, I have to make a decision here. Do I spend my money on getting more nobles? Right? Getting uh, academies? Or do I save just in case I go to war? At the end of the day, I can always just delete this. Wow, that is so cheap. I'm gonna build the economy. That's so cheap. And civil... What? Huh? Wow. Why is everyone mad? Power base, low faction approval, power base, low faction approval. Oh my god, are you serious? No objective. Um, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can make bribes actually. Rise of the Salies. Oh, I did not use, I did not even need to use a PI. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even need to, I didn't even not, I did not need to use a political influence. Of course. Well, shite. God, I, it doesn't get it doesn't even get refunded. I I feel so stupid. <laughs> Actually, wait, did I get the claims on? Uh... Oh, I didn't. Ah, oh, shit. I doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Honestly, an alliance with Etruria would be insane. They are allied to Carthage, and they're guaranteeing Syracuse. That's crazy. How can you do both at the same time? Honestly, it's probably best to rush for that. Skipping the navy once again, which is annoying. Military Connie's is good, is is really good actually. But I don't want to skip the navy because the navy is also important. I have to make some tough decisions here, man. Shipbuilding costs is huge. Uh, 
open sea combat. Slave raiding. Oh, that's huge. Oh my god, what the hell's happening? Volcantia and Soluvian war. Volcantia declared war on Soluvia. Volcantia and Helvia at war with Albicia, Soluvia, and Deciatia. This is absolutely something I should get involved in. Issue is, I don't have any allies and I can't declare wars because of the freaking Senate. The big thing is, right, there's no cities around here that I can sack. That would be so nice to do. I need some kind of ally. I can't just go on this without an ally, right? It's already decided. I'm declaring this war. It's gonna be a rough start. Let's just go for it, man. We want to take Volcantia. That's the easiest to hold, at least. So we're gonna take Vol Volcantia. Declare this war. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's gonna help us, I think, is increased pay. More morale of armies, that's huge. Levy size, I probably should have did that before. But I don't think I even have enough pops anyways. Fort maintenance is gonna go up. War balance has border. Oh no. Whoa, they're fast. What the f What? What how fast are you? I won that battle. Holy crap, I won that battle. That's crazy. I'm gonna get stack wiped. I think. So what I'm gonna do if please for the love of God go to Masalia if I um, not a bad battle, honestly. Oh, ah, ah, of course. That makes sense. It's actually nice that I went there. I would like military action through. Thank you. I could have blocked that, couldn't I? I could have blocked that, I think. I think? Yeah. I don't know if I'm blocking that. I don't know if that's blockaded. I hope the war is going well for you, Volcantia, please. I'm relying on this being a two-front war. I can't call them in. I literally cannot call, call them in. All right, let us try to at least take the war goal. Take this actually first so we can actually blockade them. Take, once I take the war goal, I think the war balance would be my favorite thing. Then he'll want to join. Now are you willing to... Yes, okay. Nice. All right, we got our ally here. We're going to immediately rush his capital. Unless we could try to go for a separate piece. No, no, no. All right, this is looking good. This is looking good. It was a bad start. But it will be a good ending. Oh, why is my ally not here? We have much stronger units. We could actually just win this. We have an eight general here helping me. Ah, uh, nope. No, 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 it has no food. I don't know how did were you guys at war? Oh, they were at war. If I take another loss here, that would be very bad. So I'm just gonna do that. I think it's fine. I think that's fine. <laughs> uh yeah. I need to get out now. You have to settle for that. Okay, that's fine. That's right. That's one thing out of the way. That is such a favorable peace deal. Why do people hate me? Uh, oh, the faction approval is crazy. Province and fortifications. Uh, honestly, that's uh, just not even a bad thing to go for. Sure, power base. Uh, like, dude, I don't know what you want me to do about this power base, okay? Am I not of a great family? I'm not even of a great family. That would probably be the main issue as to why people are so upset. You gotta be kidding me. I kind of have to do it, honestly. But that's really annoying. Okay, that's done. Be happy. Hurry up. Come on. Be happy. Good. You're happy. Wow, that has that has done literally nothing. Actually, it's done a good amount. You're happy now. You, your power base. Screw you and your power base. Get, fucking give him free hands, man. Oh, it's so much money. Foreigner arrives. What do you mean? Did I hire them? How did I hire them? I didn't click the fucking buy. What are you talking about? Huh? How did the... What? I just lost 100 to... I didn't click anything. There's something wrong with my game. Every time a month goes by, it's pausing. What if I like, hmm, what if I did this? I get this. 
I'm not clicking anything. My my hand is off the mouse. Okay, that that didn't actually declare war. Thank God that didn't. I did I click it? I must have misclicked. You know what? I probably misclicked. Oh, you're in defensive league now. You have no allies. Oh my God, you have no allies. You have no allies. You have no allies. I've known Casas Belle. I need Casas Belle. Oh my God, you have no allies. Is there a city there? Oh my God, please. Why do you have no allies? Ah, you're just in a hug box. That's what it is. Yeah, everyone around them is already allied and in a defensive league. So they can't get any more allies. All right. Join defensive league from Oxibia. Oh, I'm the leader of this league, aren't I? Oh my god. Yes, invite them to the league. Of course. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, I should be inviting more people to my, to my league. Except for you. I don't want you in my league. Oh, you joined the league. All right. I can't attack them. Yeah, we want as much people in the league as possible, honestly. Because I can't really get a lot of allies. So, if I'm attacked, I need as much people in my defensive league as possible. On popular console. Like, what's new, honestly, at this point? You got high faction approval. It's just your power. What is that? What is it? Head of family. Holding. Oh. We have two holdings. Oh. Yes. There's not a lot of holdings to go around. So, anyone who has a single holding has a lot of power. Is everything already taken? Damn, everything's already taken. Holy shit. Okay, the moment I take this land, I need to take it for myself. I think we declare this war, right? Yes. Okay, my ally will join. So, set approval. Dude. Frick you, man. Krateros Bukilid, the... Okay, you. Alright, sure, sure, sure. I can work with this. He's got good marshal. Put him in there. That'll make the oligarchs happy. Term length shortened. Honestly, I don't really... Actually, that's good because the shorter the term length, the less risk of civil war, I guess. Because it's the power is constantly shifting. That's good. You like me more. That still does not really help me. Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Just gotta go for it, just go for it. I should not, I should have just probably brought, brought my ladies up, maybe. Maybe that would be helpful. My allies in this, you need to get military access. Planning my demise. That's very convenient, isn't it? Oh yeah, the travel, so they have split units cooperating. So let's, yeah, let's take advantage of that. Splitting up your troops, I don't know why you would do that. I did not need my ally at all. What do we do? Oh, we don't want to do anything because it's just going to be depopulated. Other world portal will be moved to Massilia. Celtic other world portal from the... Nope. Sanctuary. The skulls of tribal ancestors are placed in holes carved into the portal's pillars. We get any more pops? Oh, we get one more levy. Sure. No one has wanted my exports at all. Like, literally no one has asked to trade yet. And I'm kind of sad. Honestly, at this point, there is no way I'm going into any more wars. Because this is a crazy defensive pact. Like, I, I'm not doing anything about that. Like, I, I'm simply not. Rome is not doing bad, actually. It doesn't seem... Yeah. It seems like they're actually being successful. Which is honestly a nice thing to see, but not in this situation. Emporion's no longer in the league. Why? Honestly, it's a good excuse to attack them, but... Yeah, they actually have no, have no allies. Russia advances, though. I'm gonna get this, and then with two more. I can't really spend all that to go here. I, I, I have to go for more practical things, really. Like, for instance, something... Marshall-based? Or civic, civic, something civic-based. I need to go down civics. About to harvest, that's nice. More approval. Awesome. I need to start building tall. Let's... Uh, you're planning my demise. I was about to neglect the forts, but... You know, I, you, I, my pl demise is currently being planned. Maybe I should even build anything. Um, we were... This. You, you, you. Yes, invite to leak. Oh, okay. That's nice. More the merrier. Honestly, attack me. I'm not that scared because of my defensive leak. Crucifixion. More tax. That's nice. Here's your benefits. Boom. Now what do they cost? 25% less. 75. That's nice. Do not press OK. I really need to export, man. Buy my goods, please. I have so much people I can 
I can trade with, and no one wants my goods. I bet it's because of Carthage. Honestly, it probably is because of Carthage. Probably everyone else is already trading with Carthage because they all have all the resources. They're no longer playing to my demise. <gasps> Foundries is what I need. For sure. Yes, I just just thought of that. Foundries is going to be so important. I'm going to be building cities on important uh, resources. So definitely want to get foundries. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Military artisans. Then. We have a free investment. We want to import. That's so much research, right? Maybe I can increase my taxes. That does literally nothing. But I, I can maintain it. Yes. Add some more money. Okay. Economy's not looking too bad. Yeah, I think attacking Emporion is what I gotta do. I'm, I have to attack my Massilium brethren. I'm sorry, but I have to. Oh, approval. Dude, I hate Republics, dude. I'm actually... I'm, I'm actually so mad right now. I'm so mad. I'm infuriated right now. State infrastructure. Can I do that right now? I can't. That's, I'm not spending that money. Why can't I inherit as someone with holdings already, man? That made my life so much easier. What are you? You have no holdings? I see my reputation. Oh, dude. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. This is actually... Grant Siphons, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. I don't care, man. We're gonna be corrupt as fuck. I guess it has to be corrupt because we're a fucking republic. Like, I, there's nothing I can do. There's legitimately nothing I can do. Because I cannot get any holdings. Ooh, you and your dreams? Dude, honestly, you could die in a fire. The Democrats, right? They want me to pass deny priest and senate law, right? But if I go to pass it, the Democrats don't even like it that much, and the oligarch oligarchs like it the most. So deny they both want it. That'll make both of them happy. I want to hire you. You're cheap, 75. I have a lot of money, so I can afford to I can afford your upkeep for a bit. I can also sack this city, which is helpful. I get some military access through a lot of people. Oh yeah, they're not blood fed because I have military access through them, so I can just put them on the border. <laughs> ah, we have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Honestly, straight up, just just surrender, just surrender at this point. Um, I don't want to wait too long. I don't need to call my LA. Don't care about the billboard. You could just again, you could just go die in a fire. It should be a stack light. Yes, it is. And maybe, yep, okay. Not sure I'll hide, honestly, but no, I need the pops. Pops are important. Pops are important. Let them run freely. I don't want to completely depopulate the place. Honestly, those pops are scrum diddly. Also, the morale. And we're going mercenary costs. I didn't even see that. Oh, I think I have to go for that. I literally have to go for that. I literally have to go for that. Next, I can get the phalanx, but I don't have much spearmen anyways, so this doesn't really matter to me. And I'm not going to be really making any allegiance anytime soon. Yeah, I actually have to. What would be better here? A vassal or just taking this? I think taking this would be better. Just I could just directly control it. Holy shite, that's got the ball sack out of me, dude. And Diketia declared war on them. That, oh my god, man. <laughs> I thought I was being attacked. If I vassalized them, it wouldn't turn into my war, would it? No. I don't think the war transfers. I don't think that's that features in this game. Would I? Spirit Summer will cause us to inherit wars from our newest. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my god, this is huge. I have no allies. I can't get any help at all. What? Oh. There is no shot. The game just lied to me. What are you on about? We have military access. Is that why? There's no way that just happened. You cannot be serious. I'm gonna reload the game. I'm gonna reload the game. That's the game lied to me, dude. I was I was led astray. Maybe if we didn't have military access. I'm gonna try to cancel military access before I meet the peace. I'm gonna cancel this military access. We have no military access. I'm gonna wait for you to exit. Right, okay. Nothing's inherited. Okay. So don't believe that. <laughs> so never believe that. Alrighty then, anyways, we'll just full axe him. Automatic trade off. I want you to just get grain in here, man. 
don't die, please. Should I keep these mercenaries? For now, I can actually keep them. I'm not building anything right now because there's really nothing to build. There's no reason to build anything. Really, what I need to be doing is building foundries in all the cities I can. But I don't have foundries yet. This defensive pack just got bigger. Are you serious? I've just been completely hugboxed. That's cool. I can make a league city, but they don't have food to feed themselves, so that would end poorly. You have no allies. I will fabricate a claim in you to go with you. Yes, that is my goal. I'm not gonna pull down my levies. We have to. They have no allies. They're completely isolated. We need to also get food. <laughs> like, these cities need food. And there's a good fish province right here, already with a farming settlement on it. Like, full annexing is something I could do, but I really don't want to do that. Actually, taking these, these two. This is glass here. That's nice. Good trade good. The rest, I'll take this as well. Because that's food for Agatha. Yeah, they definitely need food. Um, so yeah, I'll just take the coastline pretty much. Oh no. I mean, it's an oh yes, honestly. It is, it's an oh yes. This is good. But it's also like, come on, like... Really? Again? It seemed like you were doing so well. Are you gonna attack someone? <gasps> You're war into Ketia. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Huh? What? Kratos is back as an Archon. Sack Shrine. I will not be doing that. At least they will not be joining that defensive league for sure because now they hate each other. Oh my god. All right. Let them take it. Let them win. Let them win. Let them win. I just thought of something. Let them win. They'll take... They'll full annex them for sure. They'll take Narbo. They'll take this as well. I declare war on them. Then take everything I need. I need Narbo. I'll take the coastline as well. All the coastline. And then we got the dub. And we complete a mission. Oh my god. Thank... Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, I used my brain there. I'm gonna be a little bit more patient. But I'm running out of time. There it is. Perfect. Now, declare this war. Catch him. That's a stack white. Yes. You can colonize the Teva. Base metals. Sure. I'll take that. We're not gonna have these mercenaries for much longer. Okay. Let's just... Please do that. Okay. While we saw the mercenaries, we just assaulted with them. Tribal Vassal, they can end it, and they hate me, so they will just end it at the moment they, they can. Because I declared war on them, so... No need to do anything else. I can have him as a tributary, temporarily at least. But they will break it soon. That music is way too loud, I'm sorry. Come back down, please. Things are turning around, for sure they are. Income is not very good. Probably because of the forts, right? That's forts, useless forts. That fort is not useful. Get rid of that fort. We can get the uh, farming settlements there. That fort? completely useless as well. Then why, why have a fort there when there's one in Emporion? <sighs> yes! Someone finally wants my resources! My first export is stone to Oxibia. Oh my god. Finally. Rome wants my mama. 0.74! Oh my- Rome won? They won? For once, Rome is actually doing well. And that is not a good thing for me. My thing is, right, when Rome comes knocking on our door, what the hell are we gonna do, man? What exactly are we going to do? You're at war. Oh no, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. My, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose another Massalian. You're allied to Turia. Honestly, I don't really care. I need to... I'll get some claims on you. Because eventually I do need to take you. I cannot, I still cannot grant holdings for some reason. I'm actually very confused. Why can't I grant holdings? I used to be able to. What's going on? Did something change? I'm very confused. I can grant a holding to you, but why you and not myself, for instance? Unless it's a surplus, it's not very useful to me. I just have a bunch of random stuff, but I have foundries. That's huge. What I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do this, yeah, yeah. That didn't do much to begin with. It didn't do much, but it will add up in the future. Glass. No, 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 no. That's gonna go to my defensively partner, Oxibia, of course. Going down this way, yeah. Gotta go Civic, of course. Gotta make more money. That's 
the most important thing in this campaign is making money. I should probably save up to make a holy site to Hermes. Of course, who else but Hermes? Um, in the capital of Massalia. So, yeah, 300. Save it for 300. Just to see what this mission does, because it's a choice of a naval bonus, right? I'm going to do this. But right after I actually make this holy site, because I do want to make this holy site. Honestly, having the high tier is not bad, other than the thresholds. How cheap is a foundry? 166. That's so cheap. Oh my god. I had to build this holy site quick. I do. I need more money, man. Can someone, like, just give me money? Ooh, this is where I make money. Krateros, again. He keeps reappearing. And there goes the tribute. There we go. All right, I can finally do it. It's time for the holy site dedicated to Hermes. Boom. Put some stuff in there. Pause it. Marble statue of Asclepius. And the other world portal. All right, cool. We have a holy site. Now we can actually work on the economy. After building that, right? Uh, I said I wanted to build the navy. Yeah, I want to build the navy, so I'll do that. I need to put a mantid in. Oh, the mantid is already leading. So I need to build this navy up. It's such low popularity. That directly affects integrated culture happiness. I had no idea. You are in a new defensive league. You are in a holy shit. That is insane <laughs> all of eastern iberia is in a defensive league i'm not going into iberia that's for sure all right barbarian bartering the local tribes have always been willing to allow the settlement of greeks on the coast as long as they did not interfere in their business only too willing to gain access to the rich goods we import from our elsewhere honestly that's all i'm here for i'm just here for the goods man i just want the trade i just want to be exporting I want to make a good economy. That's all. We just trying to prosper. We ain't trying to conquer. Bars. I bet it's based... It's either completely random or based on opinion. And my opinion with them, not good. We offer to buy Mago. Chance of acceptance is affected by the charisma of Andragoras. The relative value of the port and the... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. They're unlikely to accept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sessitanian Leita? What? What the hell is Leita? Oh. This. Fish. Ew. What the hell? There's no value in that. If I just quickly ally them, like, legitimately, this might work. Temporarily. I can't play the game. Dude, that's crazy. I'll try it. I'll try it. Yikes. Yikes. That's a yikes for me. That's a big yikes for me. We are quite literally about to have a civil war. I cannot do anything to stop this. Oh, good bribe him. Oh, thank you. Yay, we did it. Our income depends on our maintaining the flow of trade. That is a typo. To our ports, ever disrupted by pirates and the target of jealous rivals. A force must be established to defend the arteries of our treasury. All right, let's see what we can do. Our sprawling maritime network requires an equally sprawling navy, capable of defending our merchants from raiders, reavers, and rivals. Now we must decide whether to specialize our squadrons for speed or survivability. Oh, it's only temporary. That's so oh, unfortunate. Uh, damn chickens. It's obviously going to be better. I don't know why I would go for anything else. No, we need gymnasium. Sim sim simple as. That's the next thing. We really just need gymnasium. And we can go for Hellenic Reclamation, which I'm not sure how we're going to do that, considering this entire fucking coastline is part of a defensive league. All right, now we don't need to focus on that. Now we can just... Do we really need a navy this large? Carthage is larger than us, and honestly, to be Carthage, I, it's not having a big navy, it's having a strong navy, so that's not going to help me. Rome, I don't, I, like, don't really need a big navy against Rome, because it's just gonna, they're gonna kill me on land, really. Anyone else, like, I don't need this big of a navy. It's just half of a big amount, at least. What do we got here? Who's the next one trying to cause a civil war? Start a trial. Bruv, excuse me? You want me to start a trial? You want me to start a trial? Start a trial against Harpalas. Actually, dude... Just starting the trial would make them happy. But he has so much power base. Aw, oh, let's just live on the edge, man. 
Yes, investment. That's actually perfect for me. Say infrastructure. Oh, that's such a useless one, too. That's a problem. All right, traditionalists are happy. Let's start this draw, man. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's let's get this shit over with. Screw it. Let's do it, man. Oh my god. 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 Um. Um. I can take 200 gold or I can continue this. What I'm looking at? A civil war is inevitable. I think we just take the money. It's inevitable at this point. It's civil war is inevitable, I'm pretty sure. I can be friends with him. I can grant. Nope. Nope. You know what? At this point, I'm done with concessions. I'm I'm actually just done with concessions. I'm going to end this. Like, I am going to completely destroy all these aristocrats. Trust me, are going to be gone. Avernia. Having an alliance with Avernia would be so sick against the Romans. That would be so nice, actually. Not likely, though. So, we're going to get these mercenaries right now. Give him time to gather morale. And there it is. What the fuck is that, man? Like, like what is that? Like, like, come on. What is this? W what? Huh? We are good. We're good. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Not a stack wipe. Insane. That's not, that's not stack wipe. No, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. Sorry, bud. Okay, that's gone. Right. Forget the forts. Take everything else. Military tradition. I guess I can start going down this way. Oh, Greek kingdom. You're going to Emporion. Imagine. You must be. You are. You are. Oh my god. I, I did it. D Hello? Wait, how did I take that fort? Oh, because it was, it was encircled. Oh. Oh. Okay. We should have stacked up all their armies. I don't know why the war hasn't ended. That's really annoying. Going for the mercenary cost invention was so, so important for this campaign. Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to get this mercenaries. I would not be able to win this civil war. There we go. Okay. That is a civil war. But now the families have been completely cut down. Craterus can actually become a Pythid. Honestly, I would love that. Considering the amount of times he's become... Oh, he's gonna be gone soon anyways. But the amount of times he's become Argon. And Rome has officially defeated the Etruscans. I am genuinely surprised. Honestly, I think our days are numbered. <laughs> there is nothing I can do about this. But anyways, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, This was a very eventful one. Very eventful first episode. I'm happy where this has gone so far. But uh, I'm very scared for where it's going. Because right now, we could just be sitting tightly. Like, I don't really care if I get attacked by, like, any of these goals. Because I think I could very easily beat them, honestly. Rome is going to be coming for me. Unless the AI chooses to f just focus on the east instead. Then I'll be okay. <laughs> but until then... I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm scared. I think what we need to do for the next episode is definitely try to get the tyranny down. I've just been completely just disregarding it. Honestly, it's because I just don't play Republics that much. And I felt like I needed to get things done, right? I needed to get certain things done. I need to make certain decisions as quickly as possible because I need to grow as quickly as possible because I'm very small. And a lot of decisions that I made, pretty much every single decision I made was without the approval of the Senate. So then all the tyranny has accumulated. So then everyone everyone was disloyal. And then that led to civil war. And uh, yeah, so I need to get that down as much as possible. And uh, really focus, hopefully, without Rome's interference, hopefully just focus on getting foundries, getting the resources exporting my resources getting money from that then building up the cities then uh, hopefully just developing more and more it's gonna be a very tall campaign obviously <laughs> considering the nature of this uh civilization so anyways if you enjoyed this video please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new and you like the content on my channel of course uh thank you again for the wonderful people at the Invictus server who 
helped me out in dealing with my issue of crashing. I should probably say this before I go. It's 2 a.m. right now. Anyways, it's Manati HUG. Signing out. See ya.